Hi there! Today, we're going to see how DevOps teams can synchronize their microservice pipelines using a new feature from Zebia Labs called Delivery Patterns. Are you a portfolio or business line manager who struggles to manage complex, cross-application release processes? You probably work with development teams that move at different speeds through iterative cycles of building, testing, and deploying software. And you probably have to manage dependencies between applications that can slow down pipelines and introduce risk. You might even have issues with planned features being delayed or descoped without business stakeholders knowing about it beforehand. And the information you need to keep track of it all is spread across different tools and systems. My name's Amy Johnston. I'm the Director of Product Marketing at Zevia Labs, and today I want to show you how our Delivery Patterns feature can help you meet the challenges of complex, enterprise-scale software delivery. With Delivery Patterns, you can track the components that make up a complete business application as they progress through technical release pipelines. You can synchronize those components so they can be released together, visualize their real-time status across technical pipelines, and control the release of components so that dependencies are preserved. Let's take a look at an example that shows how you can use a delivery pattern to manage the weekly release of a set of microservices. I'm going to use a pattern that models the delivery flow for a microservice-based e-commerce application. The pattern has three stages and two transitions. Stages logically group work that needs to be done to deliver a business application to your end users. Transitions let you control the progress of a delivery by pausing all of the technical pipelines that are contributing to the delivery until your desired criteria are met. In addition to the pattern, I've created a release template that will take care of administrative tasks that need to be done for the business level delivery. This template ensures that I have a standardized, repeatable way of creating my microservice delivery each week. It also connects the CI-CD process to the enterprise ITSM process that's managed in ServiceNow. This ensures that I'll get a comprehensive audit report for each weekly delivery. Finally, development teams have created release templates to model the various technical pipelines that will contribute to the delivery. This is an example of a template that is used by several different microservices. When each technical pipeline starts, it will link itself to the week's business application delivery by registering tracked items. A tracked item can be anything you care about, like bug fixes, user stories, or new features. The technical pipeline will continually update the status of tracked items in the delivery, and it will use the delivery to wait on tracked items that are being built and tested in other pipelines. This is what allows Zebia Labs release orchestration to go beyond simple point-to-point -point dependencies between technical pipelines. Instead, we make it easy for teams to track logical dependencies between application components while giving them the freedom to design their own pipelines of release tasks. I'm going to use my pattern and release templates to deliver the e-commerce microservices that need to be released to production this week. I'm going to start by using the administrative release template to prepare the delivery for the week. I just need to provide a name for the delivery that will be created. And I'll go ahead and start the release. It created the delivery, connected to Jira to find the tickets that have been tagged for release this week, and registered those tickets as tracked items in the delivery. In the delivery, I can see the tracked items that have been registered. Throughout the week, the technical pipelines that contribute to each tracked item will be linked to the delivery via those items. Now, I'll use the shared template for e-commerce microservices to start a technical release pipeline for the account service. I just need to provide a few details. and I'll go ahead and start the release. Now, if I take a look at the delivery, I can see that there are two releases associated with some of my tracked items. When I look at the linked releases for one of those items, I can see that the account microservice pipeline is now contributing to that item. Throughout the week, other teams will run pipelines for their e-commerce microservices. As those pipelines register tracked items with the weekly delivery, I'll start to see them appearing here. This transition will ensure that build and test activities across all pipelines are complete before end-to-end -end testing starts, so I know that all of the changes in those pipelines will be tested together. 
Skipping ahead in time, I can see that all of the technical pipelines that are linked to the tracked items in this delivery have signaled that they're ready to move forward to the end-to-end -to -end testing stage. However, in the meantime, the product team has decided to pull a story from the weekly delivery, and I want to be sure that information isn't lost as the delivery proceeds. With a few clicks, I can descope the tracked item from the delivery, which documents the fact that it was planned for this week, but it won't be delivered. The rest of my tracked items are still good to go, so I'll manually transition them to the next stage. The technical pipelines will now continue with automated integration testing and any other work that needs to be done to satisfy end-to-end -end testing requirements. A similar process will happen when end-to-end -end testing is complete. All of the technical pipelines will wait until the change approval board approves the deployment to production and I transition the tracked items to the final stage. After the microservices are successfully deployed to production, I'll complete the delivery to wrap up the week. As the delivery ran, Zevia Labs automatically collected important data about the manual and automated tasks that were executed. I'm using a combination of filters to generate an audit report for the delivery and its associated technical pipelines. The audit report provides a high-level overview of what happened, as well as detailed information for auditors and other stakeholders who want to drill down. This is just one way you can use delivery patterns to achieve stability, consistency, and predictability for multi-pipeline business application deliveries. You can create patterns for release trains, Big Bang milestone releases, master releases with sub-release processes, and more. To try it out yourself, sign up for a free trial at zebialabs.com.